What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of A Critical Thought. Uh, we're going to be looking at a guy that goes by the name Christian Kazadi. Now, Christian Kazadi has passed. Uh, rest in peace and condolences to his family. I hope they find strength and hope through these tough times. Um, but I want to look at what caused his death. As it said in the media, uh, Christian Kazadi had died in the hands of the Congolese police. Christian Kazadi is a Congolese South African. He was born in the Congo and grew up in South Africa. Um, he moved he moved to South Africa with his family, mother, father there, but unfortunately his father would pass away. He would leave behind his wife, Christian, and his siblings. Christian Kazadi was uh, one of the top entrepreneurs in Africa. He had recently been nominated by Forbes as uh, the top 200 under 30 entrepreneurs. And he was to go to a conference that was to happen in the country of Botswana. He left behind a company by the name of Click Media where he would work with multiple influencers and socialites. The story of his death is very complicated. Um, it's drowned in mystery, theory, confusion, things that just didn't make sense. Christian was on his way to uh, Botswana for uh, the Forbes conference, the Forbes 30 under 30 conference, um, but somehow he found himself in Kinshasa. That's where the whole ordeal happened and he passed away. But how he found himself in Kinshasa is very strange. Uh, let's let's keep this in mind. Christian had moved to South Africa at a very young age. He wasn't familiar with the Congo. He had never been back there since, according to his family. He did not know Congo. He has never been in Congo. The last time he was in Congo was when he left. So how did he find himself in Congo? Apparently, he flew to Botswana to the conference, had the conference. After he finished with the conference, he was flying back to South Africa. He at the border gates, they did not accept his visa, calling it fake or something, a, a fake, a fake visa. And then he was sent to the Congo. Um, that in itself doesn't really make sense logistically. Um, but that was the story that was given by the, f the family because usually I think um, you are sent back to the destination that you've come from because if you would leave South Africa to get to the to Botswana on a, good, on a good visa where everything would check out, why would it be difficult to get back in? That's what the family gave and we'll respect that. Sadly, he could not get back in. How he found himself in the Congo is also something that was a mystery. Um, but apparently when he landed in the Congo, he was he was set up in a hotel, stayed in a hotel for a couple of days. We're not sure for how long, but then, but according to the family, he was kidnapped and drugged. Apparently the kidnapping and drug would cause him to act out weirdly where he found himself um, at someone else's funeral strangely enough this is a video this is a video that has been going viral in congo uh, we have it here let's post it up <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So the family would say that after he was drugged, um, the drugs were the cause of him acting out like that. It um, was really strange for them. They've never seen him act like that. Um, trying to put on headsets, I'm, we're not even sure what he's trying to do. But there's many stories that are coming in with many versions from uh, Christian's family and from the people that were actually there at the funeral. But according to the family, he was drugged um, and then he had this outbreak or outburst and he was caught by the Congolese police where he was jailed and further tortured. He was apparently tortured so badly that he was killed. Uh, we do not know who killed him. That information is not out. But what we do know is that he died in the hands of the Congolese police. The family theorized that because of his drug outburst, maybe the police had seen him as a threat and would beat him senselessly. Um, that unfortunately, that's just how the Congolese police can be. Um, they can be quite violent. But this is a very sad story. Um, he's he left behind his family, his mother, his siblings, his mother, his brothers and a lot of fans and friends that really supported him. Other theories come into occultism. People come and say that he was maybe in the occult because how he was acting didn't make sense. And some people come out with theories saying that if they had kidnapped him, why did he still look intact? Why did he still have all his clothes, everything? He still had his cell phone, his headsets, everything still um, on him because usually when you are kidnapped you are stripped of everything the photos of his death um this was in the police station but when you see him in the video he still looked uh fresh and clean as they say and sadly this is this is the part that puts people at odds they just don't understand why um or what happened but as the story develops i'll keep you guys posted um Rest in peace. Um, uh, once again, um, condolences to the family. And yeah, um, let's hear what you guys think about this in the comments. And, and like and subscribe.